Back in 2005, film enthusiast Toshihiro Nagoshi released Yakuza, a gritty drama presented as a 3D beat-em-up title. The game was popular and ended up spawning not only a bunch of sequels, but spin-offs and remakes as well. Sega even set up Ryuga Gotoku Studio as a way of maintaining all of the different games within this new franchise. But everything changed in Yakuza 7, when they not only changed the protagonist to Ichiban Kasuga, but also created a brand new combat system. 7 was originally being developed as an action game, much like the rest of the series, but they ended up creating an April Fool's video where it plays out like a turn-based RPG. It was all a joke, until it turned out that fans liked the idea and even those at the studio were on board, and so they changed the entire direction of the game in under a year. And now, according to Toshio Nagoshi, that will be the new future of the Yakuza series, and I'm really excited to see where they go with it. What's great about Vyuga Gotoku Studio is the amount of freedom they have. Toshihiro Nagoshi isn't just the series creator, but he's also the creative director of Sega as a whole. He has an immense amount of trust at the company, and so if they want to pivot to make it an RPG, they absolutely can. In a later interview, they regarded it as the most amount of creative work they've done in the least amount of time. But Yakuza 7 doesn't feel rushed in any way, with its RPG combat earning it plenty of award nominations but it's exciting to think of what they could achieve with more time. The game takes its inspiration from the Dragon Quest series, but the very literal job system is more akin to classic Final Fantasy, and it was fun to be able to explore different options. But at the same time, especially with the gender-locked jobs, there wasn't a whole lot of customization. In general, there's not much motivation to experiment, even with some permanent skills that can be carried over. Another issue was the frequent random encounters. They intentionally didn't have them level scale so as to give you the feeling that there are some parts of the map that you might not be strong enough for yet. But the problem is when you're in the late stages of the game and you're constantly being interrupted by weak enemies. But one of the big parts of what carried Yakuza 7 is that it still retained what made the series special. Emotional storytelling, gripping characters and a mix between heartfelt and goofy side stories to complement the larger arc. Even as an RPG there wasn't much that changed in the story, but instead the genre mostly influenced the pacing at which characters would join up with Ichiban. There are things I'd like to see improved in a Yakuza 8, but the good thing is that they absolutely will be. My biggest hope while playing 7 was that they don't give up on being an RPG, because I know that all of the shortcomings will be improved with time. Yakuza 8 won't struggle with having to implement an entirely new battle system in under a year, but rather will be created from scratch as a compelling RPG. And so it's almost a given that the complaints we have now will be smoothed over ready for the next entry, just as the games within Kiryu Kazuma's journey improved. And for those attached to the original combat, it will continue to live on and improve through the equally filmic side series, Judgment, which recently announced the sequel, Lost Judgment, which will release this year on the same day globally. It's a great time to be a fan of Ryuga Gotoku Studio. Thanks for watching OsuQuest in Japan. Feel free to subscribe to find out more about the art and creation of Japanese pop culture.